Hello there. Today I will discuss about a searching algorithm called depth limited search. Let's have a look. Depth limited search is just like depth first search. The only difference is that in depth limited search your um, algorithm will traverse up to a certain limit instead of the whole depth of your graph or tree. So let's see. Suppose you have this tree. Okay. Now the limit or the level of this tree is this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 so in depth first search we usually traverse along the entire depth of our tree or graph but in depth limited search if suppose our limit is 1 so after coming over here we can no longer go and access these because their level is higher than our limit so let's see how it happens let's add some more These have a level of 3. Okay, now let's set a limit of say 2. So, in depth first search, we usually go along the depth. So, let's start from the root node. Let's discover the root node and then we will traverse here and discover this and after that we will cover this one you will see that we will not discover this node because this is more than my limit it's 3 so now what I will do I will simply backtrack and then from here I will discover its other child and from here I cannot go beyond its level is 3 so I'll backtrack and then backtrack then discover this branch then this child and I can't go over here I'll backtrack then discover this child can't go over here, backtrack, backtrack. Okay. So in order to achieve all these, we will use a structure known as a stack. So what is a stack? It's basically a structure which follows principle known as last in first out LIFO so if we insert something this insertion operation is known as push if we insert something say it's over here if we insert A comes over here followed by B say it's here followed by C C okay so when we want to take them out 
this operation is known as pop so let's take each of them out first one C the next one's B the last one is A now if you notice this came out first followed by this lastly A came so you can see the object that went in last came out first okay now let's look at the pseudocode and say how this thing works and after showing you the pseudocode I will show you another example and there I will use the pseudocode okay. so procedure depth limited search here G is the graph V is your starting node or root node L is your limit so let S be a stack so let's have a stack over here okay let L be the depth limit so let's set a limit We will set a limit and then label V as discovered so we will discover our root node and then push it in the stack and then while the stack is not empty we will pop the value and put it in a variable V and if it's a goal node then we return it else for all adjacent edges from V to W in G do some tasks so what is V to W you have a node V you have a node W so any neighbor of V is W so over here you will do all these tasks for the neighbors of V so let's check what we have to look for is the depth of W less than or equal to the limit so we will check the limit and check the level of W followed by is it discovered or not if these two criteria are fulfilled then we will do this task so what are these tasks? We are going to label W, mark its parent as V, and push W. So let me show you through an example. So many of you might be familiar with this example if you have followed my previous videos on breadth first search or depth first search. I would really recommend you to follow those. I'll link. Uh, I'll, I'll give the link to the these videos in the description. Now let's give them 
levels. So A is my root now. We will give it level 0. The immediate children of A will get a level of 1. Then their children will get a level of 2. Okay. And then the next ones will get level of 3 these are 3 these are 4 ok so this one is 1 this 2 this one is 0 these 2 are 1 these 2 are 2 this 4 are 3 and I is level 4. Now let's declare or denote and limit. For this particular problem, let's declare it as 3. So limit is 3. Okay. Limit is 3. So let's begin. So what we will do at first, we will at first you will see that my root node is V, so let's label V as discovered. To discover it, I'm going to shade it and then push V. So A. Now I'm going to enter this loop because this is the next line and what the loop says is pop s let's pop the stack and put the value in v okay so in in this question i haven't particularly showed you which one's the goal node so so that we can traverse as much as possible so we will skip these two lines, 8 and 9. So the next one is for all adjacent edges of from V to W in, in the graph G do. Is it within the limit? Yes. And then is it discovered? Is it not discovered? No. Okay, then let's get in. So, what are we going to do? We're going to discover them and then this is not graphically shown and then we're going to push them. B. Again, from here, same. S is within the limit and it's not discovered. So, we will discover them and then push. After that, we will see that all the neighbors of A has been discovered. So we will uh, break out of this one loop and then come again to line number 7. So let's pop. Pop whatever is on top of my stack and put it in V. Okay, so let's go to this line, the adjacent edges of S. So these two nodes, also this, these two nodes are the ones that are not yet visited and within the limit. So let's visit them and push. Visit this one, push. Now we will see that we have 
come to the end and we are again coming back to this one because all the neighbors of S has been visited so we are in line number 7 and we will pop from the top of the stack and we have H H has two neighbors S and G G has not yet been visited and it's within the limit so let's visit as well as push and now we will again come back to this line pop from the top of the stack G ok now let's look at G the neighbor of G is H and E. E has not yet been visited and it's also within the limit. So let's visit them. And push. And then we'll return to line 7. So now we will pop E place it here in case of E all its neighbors have been visited so we will skip all these and again come back to 7 so again pop C ok C has two members which are not yet visited so let's visit them D ok and then F let's visit F and then push it in. You will notice both of them are within my limit. Ok. So again I have reached line 7. So what I will do? I will simply pop from the top of the stack. So let's pop F. F has only one neighbor which is already visited. So I will skip all these and again come back to 7 and again pop D. Okay, in case of D, there is one neighbor which has not yet been visited. However, I has a level of 4. So that is more than my limit. So I will not be visited neither will it be pushed. So what are the other neighbors? C. It has already been visited. So all these will skip. It will come back to line 7 and pop. So top of the stack we have B. Let's pop B. Okay. We have pop B and the neighbors of B has already been visited so we will skip all these and at the end we will see that the stack is right now empty so we will also exit this while loop and you can see that all of my nodes within the limit has been visited okay so what I can say is that depth limited search algorithm has been concluded.